funny how your body forces you to fall the way that you want to fall, right? Uh-huh. Parkour is really hard to define because it means so many different things to whoever practices it. But an overall definition would be a discipline of movement that incorporates overcoming obstacles that are both physical and mental. I've always seen like videos where you see the fails and you see the people that are really good and they do crazy stuff and um, so I've always saw them on YouTube and thought it would be really cool to do this. I was looking for something new to do um, and it just sounded interesting and when I got there the people were so friendly and so interesting and fun that I just decided to stick with it. To trust your body more, like you're not, it's not something that it's something that you know you can nail every time, like you can't get that top corner of the goal every time, you're going to have mistakes, but then when you do get something right, it just really makes you feel validated in how you're doing something. I will come down and offer a hand. We use a lot of railings and walls. Something as simple as the ground can be used to help train a parkour student. The company is called Parkour Generations. In America, we have a couple of coaches. In Pennsylvania, strictly um, Andy Keller, Jordan Stribos, and a couple other people are um, coaching Parkour Generations in Pennsylvania. I think it's a really interesting thing to try. It's something new. And I feel like it's not quite as hard as people might think, but it's harder than they also would think, so it's kind of a surprise either way. Interested students can contact sophomore Aaron Horse or senior Katie Espenshade to start their training, learn cool tricks, or just have fun. For Field Happenings, I'm Kylie Schaefer.